More than a million kids receive ear tubes each year. It is one of the most common pediatric procedures, despite the cost and need for general anesthesia. But that is changing. In Health Watch Tonight, WCCO's Aaron Hassanzad explains how a Minnesota invention is giving families relief. Well, this is Soren. Like many two year olds, Soren Webster loves adventure, especially on the water. Our favorite lake is White Bear. And we go boating pretty much every weekend on the pontoon and we go fishing. But his mom noticed he wasn't quite himself after suffering through four ear infections in four months. So when he started going to daycare full time, he started getting ear infections. Um, you know, he gets sick and then get an ear infection. And it was time to get ear tubes. I kind of just kept putting it off and I was like, Maybe his ear infections will get better, but you know, I knew they wouldn't. Traditionally, ear tube procedures happen in the operating room under general anesthesia and can cost more than $5,000. But Rochelle found a local innovation that could save her family thousands and could be done without putting Soren under. And it's a real leap forward in our field. Dr. Sheila Kofer at the Mayo Clinic did Soren's ear tube procedure with an FDA approved device she helped develop. The hummingbird. We use numbing medicine right on the eardrum. We use the device almost like a piercing gun. I went in with Soren. I was there the whole time it happened. Because it doesn't require general anesthesia, it can be done in a clinical setting. You know, and it kind of fits in with the trends in healthcare where things are done minimally invasively as long as they can still be done safely and effectively. Saving time, money, and stress for moms and kids like Rochelle and Soren. Like he's been more upset about not getting something he wants than this <laughs> procedure. <laughs> Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. The Perceptus hummingbird is FDA approved for children 6 to 24 months old. Not all kids are good candidates, so check with your doctor. We have posted information on where you can find the technology at wcco.com links.